Dear friends, thank you for uh, coming. Thanks for asking me to speak to you. Um, I'm sorry I'm not able to be with you in person. However, uh, thanks to this modern technology, I am able to say a few words to support your very important initiatives, uh, initiatives in support of Palestinian popular resistance, in support of humanity, and in support of our collective efforts uh, to end injustice in the world. I believe there is an international uprising going on. Uh, people from San Francisco to the Wall, to the Wall Street uh, protests, to what is happening in Europe and in Greece and in Palestine. And even in Tel Aviv, there are people who are demonstrating to achieve justice and peace and humanity for our troubled planet. Uh, we in Palestine, of course, know this uh, very well and have a very long history of it, uh, simply because we were subjected to one of the most brutal colonial occupations since the Second World War. Uh, for 63 years now, our people have been uh, meticulously and carefully uh, made refugees, removed from their lands, their lives destroyed, and their livelihood destroyed. These people are now uh, 11 million Palestinians, 7 million of us are refugees or displaced people. 530 villages and towns have been completely demolished and ethnically cleansed. And there are villages that are today, like al Walaja, being surrounded by a wall on all sides and with a gate that people come in and out as a locked prison. Even my own hometown of Bethlehem area, where we see that there is 180,000 people, nearly half of them are refugees or displaced people, and living in what is known as a people warehouse. Uh, some people call these areas ghettos or bantustans or concentration camps even. But whatever you call them, we live in them. Yet, we are not pessimistic. I am personally very, very optimistic that life will move in the right direction and has been moving in the right direction. And we keep the hope that with the help of international community that we will get there. I have been to Europe many times. I have been to Italy many times. I am also coming to Italy in January. Uh, to speak again about these things and again solicit your support uh, of these activities. You can help us by engaging in boycotts, divestments and sanctions. You can help us by media work. You can help us by pressuring the Italian government uh, to do the right thing, uh, by pressuring the European Union to do the right thing and support the non-violent popular resistance here. We do not consider Palestine a charity case, so I do not ask for your money. Uh, we do not ask for your money. And in fact, I urge you not to send any money to individual Palestinians. Uh, I urge you to support human rights where you are and in the method that you choose. I ask you if you would like to come and visit us, Ahlan wa Sahlan, as we say in Arabic, our, my house is big and our life here is open to the international community. The international solidarity movement, which started here in my hometown, uh, the village of Beit Sahur, the Shepherd's Field in the district of Bethlehem. This is the uh, village in which the shepherd saw the star, went up to Bethlehem telling the world about the birth of Jesus, uh, a Prince of Peace. So here today in the 21st century, we, the descendants of those shepherds, would certainly also tell the world that there is good news, there is a message of peace. We are, urge you all to adopt it, we urge you all to move on it. I consider it as a collective struggle for all of us. Thank you very much for everything you do and keep the hope alive for a better future, because that is how we collectively as human beings can save this earth that we live on. It's a small planet, this blue planet, in this, uh, in this uh, group of planets, in this galaxy, 
This is what we have to protect. Thank you very much and keep the hope alive. And as Vittorio Arrigoni used to say, stay human, stay human. Thank you.